You know, there are some Democrats not willing to keep the spending, though. They're deep pocket donors, wealthy supporters, including billionaire George Soros, reportedly sitting on the sidelines this election season. My next guest says these big backers are chalking up this November as a lost cause for Democrats. Former Rudy Giuliani campaign fundraiser Noel Nickboard joining me right now. You know, I have been reading very little from these guys. Mm -hmm. They are bowing out. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, I mean, think about it. Look who's probably going to take about the House. Look who's going to probably has a good chance of taking about the Senate. And it's going to be the Republicans. So why? Uh, you think of uh, investing in politics just like you do investing in the market. Why throw good money on bad? So where are they throwing it for well, 2012? A well, a lot of people are waiting and they're holding and keeping their powder dry because they are going to do 2012. And, Neil, a lot of donors are putting their money in special interest groups. You know, like a lot of these people that have the commercials, say, paid by you know, so-and-so organization. For example, you have the Club for Growth. The Club for Growth uh, has a lot of Republican donors that are involved in it. I like to call them the suits and the checks. It's a bunch of businessmen that end up writing checks and can really sway and move races. And a lot so, of them move to Tea Party. Yeah. Guys. So well, they're, they're, that money is being divided, certainly within the traditional Republican ranks. Absolutely. Where is the Democratic money going? Well, the Democratic money, a lot of it's sitting there. And let me tell you, as a fundraiser right now, I've got several clients, and I'm seeing for the first time people donating, or contributing rather, to races that are Republican that they have never supported. Let me give you a great example. John Bozeman in Arkansas, who's a congressman running for U.S. Senate against Blanche Lincoln, she made a lot of people mad when she voted for health care. And Arkansas is a moderate state. Barely won her party's nomination. But let me tell you something. Look what's happening to her now. He's got, what, a 20-point lead? People that are normally donating or contributing to Blanche Lincoln's campaign are giving for the first time to a Republican because they know, hey, he might sit on a special committee. I'd better, as a Democrat, well, everyone I'm sort not of glom. Well, that's human nature to sort of glom to it, those you might think are but it's nationwide it's happening really? everywhere so i can't imagine though that the soros crowd a unique crowd and a very you know rich crowd yeah. i can't imagine they're just <laughs> sitting there who would they be targeting for 2012 would they be targeting you know th these cpacs that go after republicans or are they uh, who what, Look, what they do they do neil they promote as you know the the liberal agenda that's what they I, like. I know that you know and then what who I mean? would they try to take they're going to look at see what seats that they can they're going to look and see as far as presidential who they want who's got a good chance which is probably going to be as you know obama but there is a case and who knows with his dwindling numbers that someone can actually run against obama yeah but there was a lot of big money in 1980 that urged ted kennedy to take right. on jimmy right. carter and he did mm -hmm. and he lost right. and there was great devices in the party so I don't see that happening. A challenge to President Obama if he but were to don't not. Don't you secret. think this is a different time? Look well, at this. I mean, we've got races. Look at Angle. I know. I, know. Look at I just don't see it. I don't see it. They'd abandon their president. Oh, but I mean, think about. Look, Rahm Emanuel just did. He just split, and he may be running for mayor of Chicago. He just left. There's 30 yeah, days left in the point. midterm, and that guy's out. So of here. you think the party? <laughs> he jumped ship. And the party money is telling Barack Obama. You are a loser. <laughs> I'm a Republican strategist and fundraiser, of course. Yeah, that's what I think. But you're going to get someone else on the panel that's going to I had go no your idea. Way. You're a Republican? <laughs> go figure. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, is Rudy Giuliani ever going to run? I love yeah. Rudy. And, you know, unfortunately, I, uh, I did work for him. I love him. Yeah. He's a great guy. But let's face it. When he had that losing strategy in Florida, I'm trying to raise game money. Game over. Done. Oh, my gosh. Game over. You know, thank you. That was that. so stupid. And he is a formidable. He's a great candidate. He's a man with a message. And at this time, we need someone like a Rudy Giuliani to do something But you don't, think he's, you don't think he's going to run again? I don't know what he's going to do, but I can tell you one thing. The country is ready for someone with leadership like a Giuliani right What about now. Mitt Romney? Mitt Romney is fantastic. Is Mitt he the likely Romney nominee? Is, he's a guy with a good plan. But I like someone also, not only Mitt Romney, I like a Chris Christie. But yeah. look what he is doing to that state. Look, he is no bull. He's getting things done. For the New Jersey Cutting government. It. Have you seen the Cavuto party play? <laughs> you no? are so bad. But if you need a fundraiser, hello. See, that's mocking me. But you do <laughs> no, it with I'm the not. southern accent and things. So I did it, it almost seems palatable. With a smile. All right. Um, Noel, very good stuff. Thank Thanks. you very much. Very good reads uh -huh. on stuff.